Hello and welcome back and we are at the same place. I had my putting lesson with Chris. Short game extraordinaire. Something like that. <laughs> we're going to be doing a lot of work over winter, especially on putting, as you've seen that video. But now we're doing short games, so chipping, pitching. Yep. I do feel quite confident with, then I kind of went back a little bit. Yeah. Then I got a bit mixed up. Yeah. So now I really want to just go back to basics and like, how do I do it for next summer? Yep. I'm ready, do you know what I mean? Yeah, perfect. I mean, first of all, what we're going to do then is we're going to look at technique of what you would normally do. This shot. Club-wise, I mean, what wedges have you got? That's the first thing. Absolutely. I've got a, fo I've got a 48, a 52, <laughs> but I use my 48 because my pitching wedge is obviously a bit, a bit stronger. Stronger, yeah. Um, so I was kind of like, I had that gap of like 130 yards that I just couldn't really go into the greens. Yeah. And I don't really use a four iron, so I just swapped it for a four iron. Right, yeah. Four iron on a, a fairway, 230 yards is just not happening. So yeah, I don't really use a 48 for chipping. No. I technically use a 56 for pretty much everything. Everything around the green. Yeah. Um, I use it for 50 yards, I use it for 75 yards, I use it okay. for pretty much everything. Right, because I see you've got a 60, but I don't, again... I use a 60 out of a bunker and that's pretty much that's it pretty as well. Much. This is what I kind of, this glove's have in my life, I think. <laughs> I will get this glove on, eventually. For a long time, the last year, I would feel like my short game saved me a little bit. Yeah. There's a few vlogs, like I say, on the channel where I've missed every green okay, and I've shot yeah. six over because yeah. I've got up and down. My best chipping, I think, is when I just open the club face just slightly. Perfect, yeah. So like that, and then a little bit of weight, and then it'll just be... So it's gone too far, but it's not bad. No, not a bad chip, good strike. So here, and that's one thing that I see from a lot of people is, what are you thinking as in regards? So to... I wasn't thinking anything about where I was landing it there or anything. Ah, right. I mean, for, okay. for me there, obviously, 56, it's not gonna stop dead. Yeah. So you gotta obviously, probably it's halfway between, uh, three quarters of the way from from the the start of the green to yeah to the flag so just past that little round patch so round in that yeah okay perfect right so playing with that shot to there then as you would normally so slightly open open stance good so landed pretty much where you wanted it gone to three four feet you'd be more than happy with that yeah i feel confident knocking that in yeah Perfect, right, let's do one more to there. In regards to getting height on the ball, what do you, what, do you um, try and get height to the ball or? Nah, that's it, all that is just a bit too, not too advanced for me, but a bit. No. It's something I don't really, I mean, I've heard people say for a low flight off the back foot and. Yeah. Or you can obviously close the face a little bit more. See that one went. <laughs> a little bit lower. I mean, I've now just chipped in, like. I mean, we'll take it all day. I'm off. So let's change now. Let's change flag. So let's say we're going now for the one on the right. Yeah. What would you change club? Would you play the no, same, same club? club? Just bigger backswing, really. And that's kind of where I'm. Where you're at. Where I'm at, and that that, that is me. I'm. I'm pretty much just guessing where that was going, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, stride-wise wasn't too bad, but it's yeah, just, just a little bit firm. And that's the one that you get that, and then the next one you play a little bit short. Yeah, so it's just... It's a bit better, but again... I have a thin one. <laughs> Them three shots are all going to make me get a bogey. Yeah, exactly. You've missed so, the green. Not by much, you've got a pretty simple, straightforward chip, but then it's and hard work. I've got two work. very hard putts. Yeah, exactly. Strike-wise, if he was to get a bad strike, what would it would it favour being a thin? Would it favour being a little bit heavy when you're out on the um, golf course? Bit of both? Yeah, that's what I mean. It could be like, I tried too hard to fight, or yeah. next thing I know, I've just played an absolute unbelievable chip. Yeah. Next thing I know, I've thinned it. It's like... And for kind of like, well, most places I'll get what seven, eight shots. Yeah, I, I can't really afford to be to be doing this. Really, do you know what I mean? No, and that's it. That that one there. If there's a bunker there, you've chipped into a bunker, and then yeah. you're trying to. Right, let's. I'm just going middle of the green. Middle of the green. Yep. Yeah. So that was a different. <laughs> weirdly, that sounded like a different style. Yeah. <laughs> like so, sometimes if that that isn't working the other way, I'll. I'll kind of go to this, so it's just be like, my feet will be open, but the club head will be straight. Right, square, yeah. Yeah, and then I'll just kind of like, my arms will just stay like in a triangle, and I'll just kind of go through. Feel like it's more your body turning? So it'll be like, more like... Oh, 
but again, it's just a bit. I can't be thinking, am I going to open and open the face, or am I going to keep? The... It's just, it's in my head. It's just a mess. Yeah, and that's it. All we want you to be able to do is be Something consistent. So simple. No, right. I open the club face. I either change loft or I do this. We can see one of the biggest things, similar to your putting, is distance control. Yeah. And we'll see this on the videos of how we can see that it's a little bit, it goes back reasonably, but then the follow through is further. So sometimes it goes through further, so then one will come off hot. Right. Next one won't go as far through, there'll be more release, it'll pop up, and we're gonna get it short, okay? So we'll go through the videos, I'll, we can put those, we'll overlay those on the screen. Yep. And then uh, we can go through that. So we can see here at setup. We can see, although you said you feel like it's not too far back in your stance, you have reverted to it because of the other chip shots. You can see that's it's back, it's back it, of my stance. It, it is the Jesus. back of your stance. Hands are forwards. Turn away, good. Move towards the ball, but you can see there's a lot of loft off there. And if we watch your head motion, see how your head's working backwards. Down the line we can see drops a little bit on the inside so again a little bit shallow we've seen that you've you don't take much of a divot it's very yeah, yeah. you know you brush the ground more which is not a bad thing see that comes back nicely on plane but depending on what you've done with your wrists we might get it pop up or it might stay low okay follow through again is a lot further than the backswing so we're hitting through it a little bit, which was the same kind of thing that we saw with putting. With putting. So a few things to tidy up at setup. I, I don't mind the ball position being slightly back, but we don't want to then get a square face. If we get a square face on the ball back, it can dig in. They're the ones that you might fluff in front of you occasionally. Yeah. And especially when we go through some different lies, we might see that that'll be uh, very tricky. So let's get to uh, some drills. Drills wise, we're going to go a little bit of one-handed stuff, which was similar again to your putting. So yeah. we're going to start to work, first of all, with your right hand only, managing to get that club to swing better. It won't be forced all the way through. We'll then switch to the hardest one, which is left hand. Most <laughs> people hate, but if we can get this matching up with the body, you'll start to see we'll get a better interaction with the ground, more control on flight and spin. And then one of the other things we saw was your head tilting backwards. So we're gonna, I'm gonna make it easy to start with. So we're gonna set up, I'll do it with the, the camera again. We're gonna get him one leg. We're gonna drop that right foot behind his left. And then that'll stop any kind of falling back. So, so we're there, one arm, one leg. One arm, one <laughs> leg. <laughs> Easier to start. Easy, easy. This right, is... so right arm first. So we'll go right hand first. So With we'll... left leg forward. His left leg forward's good. Do you hold that on the elbow? Hold that in so we don't get the arm just dragging off. Right, middle of the green, yeah? Middle of the green. That's so it. open the club slightly. Good, so plenty of loft. Distance wise, we still need more backswing. Oh. There you go, so if we don't turn the body and just use the hands. Okay, so. A bit thin. So you see by letting that swing, you can see you've not really opened that club face. We've got a 56 and you can see how high it can actually go. They're only just getting on the green, aren't they? Exactly, you're making a big swing, but because you're presenting loft now, and this now opens up, the reason why you won't use other wedges is because of the flight. Nope. Good. So still long on the way through, so I want you to feel like it's long to short. So similar to your putting, okay. try and feel like it stops on the way through. Better. So weird seeing it just like just pop up that that short. Yeah, for such a long like, swing. But to look you, at the look at the radius of the ball. If you see exactly the consistency. One, there. two, three, four. I mean, I've thinned a few, but there's five in a very good area, isn't it? And you've made the same backswing length. Well, I don't know. Goes, I'm, just, I'm just randomly swinging. Well, that's true. <laughs> It'll be rough with this here. Good. And again, I went too far with the follow through there. A little bit, yeah. And that's where you start to get your feedback now. You can feel if you've gone a little bit through. Nice. Very good. I think compared to obviously the first shots, the, the flight difference there. 
Because now we're presenting the loss that the club's got. No, the, the flight difference is... Met, is <laughs> my, one was this low off the ground, one was really high. I had no control over it. Yeah, I'd say we had a low one, we had a mid one was your first one that you hit just to the right, and then these ones now, we've just got a, a consistent natural flight of what it's supposed to do. Nice. Yeah. Good. So, let's go left hand now. <laughs> right, right hand's gradually got it. And this got a vision of people watching this and going to the range and uh, oh, yeah. getting that. <laughs> making sure they're getting the one handed things in. Right, left hand. So, left hand, so this is the hardest one, but this is the one that really points out that we have to work the body correctly to get the divot. And short game, mainly for me, for most people, comes down to how your body works. And you see that by tilting back, it's going yeah. to be very hard to match up the club face. So let's just go middle of the green to start with. We're not go straight for this. Am I doing my foot? Yep, same again. I'm not going to make it harder yet. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> if that had it. gone in, I'd <laughs> have been off. Been a different chip. Left hand thin, straight in the cup. Nice. It's gone a lot further. <laughs> yeah. Didn't go in the air, did it? Not as much. Right, so yeah. that's where, again, from here, it's feeling that we can keep the loft on as we come down. We don't have to feel like it closes. <laughs> so this is, it's actually really hard, by the way. Because <laughs> you're laughing at us, right? This is actually really hard. You can just see loads of people on the range just left hand to try to chip. And that's it, if you're at the range trying this, just make sure there's no one to your white <laughs> Go to the range here. at like 10 to 9 before closes. Yeah. Good. So you see how your chest is turned through there? Yep. It started online. So the ones that we've hit to the right or we've missed hit is when we've turned back, but then we've just come down and the arms come off, my chest, chest hasn't turned. Ball. Two hands should feel like a breeze now. <laughs> this is it, we'll let you put your feet back to normal as well. So but off the... So they were all off my front foot, weren't they? Yeah. So every chip there was, because I was doing that, it's literally, so for me, I thought I was playing it kind of off my front foot, but that video shows my back foot. That's it, and it So is. now it actually can be like literally here. See that there, so now we'll get the weight left. So that drill will encourage me to have my body, like my weight ahead of the ball, to be able to Am hit Am I still opening still. my stance? Do I need to open my stance? We can, I don't mind having an open stance. If that feels comfortable, not? what I see is a lot of people get too square and then from here, they can't move and they have oh, to try right. and hit it. Because we're not making a full motion, if we open the body up a little bit... A little bit, that'll houses. do it, isn't it? Just a tiny little bit. Yeah, so feet closer together still. Good. Let's go for this left flag. So let's go through all the three flags here. So let's go left flag first. Good. A bit better, so not as far again. Yeah. So it's, not, so it's not always three-quarter swing? Not always, no. You, you'll start to feel when you get two hands, it's not always going to launch like this one. So now it's trying to, right, try and trial and error of, OK, if I go to here, if I'm parallel, that's going to give me X amount. So let's now go to the one on the right. Good. <laughs> I hit the flag. <laughs> so a lot more loft on there, launched pretty good. There was yep. a lot of spin. We just see that it was going to go a little Too bit big. far. Right, let's go this one and let's go to the back one. Landed pretty much bang on it, yeah? Yeah. So you see plenty of loft there, 52, but yeah. we don't have to make as big a motion. So if we'd have gone 56, it'd have been a fuller swing. Yeah. If we can go smaller motion, there's a lot less that can go wrong. Okay. So using different clubs, Gives us another option. So if you're not confident with chipping, I would off, probably go 56 just because I'm confident with it. But okay. can, can I try a 60? You go you go 60, and I'll go with the club that you could also use that most people don't. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Plenty of loft on there. Right. So the shot I would use, it's like you said, <laughs> you don't have the uh, long irons, but a nice and easy way, if you got a lie like this, 
okay, and you, you know how this grass is cut and you know you're going through fringe, we can just play this as an extended putt and even a bad strike there and a, a, a bump and run in it. And a bad miss, hybrid. and a misread is going to guarantee you to get up there. Even for the back flag, and we've got to kind of go through a few golf balls, but let's <laughs> see if I can. Again, I don't have to make much of a motion. And that's coming around nicely. It's close to the match it. And gone to about four foot. <laughs> yeah. Hybrid is a percentage call. If you're not confident, especially when this when obviously that we've got the weather as we have now, yeah. where it's very wet. This is a club that we can use. <laughs> so it's like when it's a bit muddy and a bit boggy. A little bit, bit muddy. You might, you might be on one of these mud patches, what we've created from standing on here. You might just go, do you know what? I'll just get the hybrid to it. And I can just get that up there. And that's, that's the worst it's going to be is... Six foot, eight foot. Yeah, which is what we'd take, you know. We're going to hold a few from there, but we're going to obviously limit the amount of shots we have. And that's still going to be... I mean, that is... Six, seven foot. Seven foot. So basically, my chip so lesson is, <laughs> use your hybrid, have a good day. Yeah, don't use any wedges, you don't need to buy any. <laughs> it's pretty good. Please go, go in. in Please go in. Oh. <laughs> right, let's play. So th th there's a trick shot. It's not really a trick shot, but it's a percentage shot. Hybrid. If if you're struggling with contacts and you're on in front of the green and you know how it's going to react, even from a little bit of rough, you might be able to use it. But let's go play some awkward lies. Yep. Right, so awkward lie. Unfortunately, we do get these. So sat down in the rough, short-sided flag. Yeah. We'll make it, again, I'm not making it easy. So short-sided flag, thick rough. What would you do differently here if you was on the golf course? So I wouldn't even... I would either get a pitch and wedge and just kind of stab at it. Okay. Or again, I would just, I just hit, kind of just whack it in the ground a little bit. I would, I would literally just be like a, like a little more of a stabbing kind of motion. Yeah, it'd be like literally just a bit of a hit and hope, but like kind of just a. It's not bad. She's worked out well. <laughs> but okay. I, yeah, I wouldn't know how to. I wouldn't know how to actually play it, do you know what I mean? I wouldn't try now and play that off my front foot. When we get into the thicker stuff, ideally what we want to do. Nice, no, sat down. Is still open the club face because it can go through, the club can travel through the grass easier that way as it can, there it'll start to snag with a square face. Okay. So also you'll get no loft and it'll be very hard to keep it anywhere near. Again, hopefully you don't miss the green in this place very much, but most of the time we end up doing it. So open it up, you can play it nice and forward and like you say, we do want a little bit. So you bit would still play it on your front foot? I, still I would play see a lot of people go, I want to hit the ball, the club wants to hit the ball first, let's put it back in my stance. Yeah. So would you not do that? Because there we're coming, we've got a downward angle of attack, but we haven't got enough loft. So I would play probably centred, okay. not, not too far forwards. Centred, open the club up so it's going to glide through this thicker rough. How much open? Very? Uh, as much as you feel comfortable with. Again, okay. depending on how far you want the shot to go. Yeah. Just, there you go. Just a little bit, yeah. And then the same motion. And weight on the front foot? Yeah, weight on the front foot. There you go. Finish short. Angle of attack, plenty of loft. That was, that, and that was sitting down, by and the that way. Was, that was horrible, so I'll <laughs> give you that one. But this is the lies we're getting at the moment, and a lot of people ask about these ones that you get, they can't control when it's short. So open it up. It doesn't have to be too far back in the stance. Weight stays left as normal. I mean, there we go. That one there, face wasn't as open as the other two. Was it not? Just comes out a little bit lower. I'll even stand on it. <laughs> Some of my playing partners. <laughs> so now open it wide open. It's still out though, isn't it? Still plenty of loft on there. Just a longer swing because you knew it was sat down. I wouldn't have thought, to be honest with you, it's nice to see how that these are not like even sitting half nicely. I get a bit, I would panic when I seen that. Yeah. That was, I stood on that. Exactly. And you'd panic, you'd go, oh, this is sat way down. I need to just like, I'm literally like, out. I'm standing on them to, to get them. So here you get it as open as you can. 
Okay. I'll tell you when it's open enough. Keep going. There you go. <laughs> That is how open it is. <laughs> that is like like a that's like a like a bunker shot, isn't it? Exactly. And we'll see this one. And that was wide open from a sat down line. And still had plenty of. Well, lock. yeah, I'm standing on them. And you've not dug into the ground, eh? It's not like you've took the big know, crater. Yeah. You you think yeah you think there's going to be a massive divot. Yeah. And when I come down here after a few weeks and people have practiced, that's normally what I find on the ground. <laughs> to be fair. Perfect. So yep. the, the next lie we get in the rough is like you say, we don't get them as bad as that, is this one here where it's uh, it's just rolled into the rough. It's a bit like, it's like almost like you've... And it's like floating on the grass. It's, you know, it's high on the face. So a lot of people on these lies will push down, catch it very high on the face, they'll go straight underneath the ball. And that's that, it. <laughs> that is one of the most annoying <laughs> shots in golf, isn't it? You've put a nice ring on it, it's gone straight under, straight off the top, and it goes nowhere. So, nice and easy here when we get these ones, is don't rest the club on the ground, rest it where we're trying to make contact. So here I'm hovering that probably an inch or two off the ground. We don't have to open this one as much, even for a short-sided one, we'll just let the loft do the work. So I'm not like putting it in the ground, I'm literally gonna... You're gonna hover it pretty much just on the level of the ball? I'm just going to make a small motion now. It's not a long shot. There you go. So brushed it off nicely. Good contact from the centre of the face. Plenty of loft. Yep. Good. So nice and easy there. Hover it where the ball is, don't let it sit down and then start catching the top of the face as it will come out dead. So, next shot, so two different ones there. We're going to get a lot, unfortunately, through the winter in <laughs> yep. sunny England. But let's go behind the bunker now, which everybody dreads. So everyone's favourite one over the bunker. OK, we're not going to go short-sided. I'm not that harsh to start with, but if we're going for the one on the other side of the green, what club would you instantly go to here? So see, we've got... See, for me, every question you ask that's going to be a 56. 56, okay. Just so yeah. I, get, I, got comf I got confident, not confident with it, but I knew I could get it. And would somewhere. you open that up or would you just play it pretty square? Well, now, I'd probably just play it pretty normal. Pretty normal, But yeah. I, I would used to, yeah, I'd probably just open it up a little bit more, bigger swing. Yeah, perfect. So let's play a 56 first. And I'll tell you how. So how I would have, or now after doing what I've been doing yeah. today. Do what you do after what you've been doing today. Play it as you would then. Just like that. So pretty good shot, gone to probably four feet. Yep. Yeah. So plenty of loft, easily to get over there. Okay. But I probably before this would have gone sixty. Exactly. And I that... think actually, because I looked at it and thought, oh, I want to get it over the bunker. I'm going to go sixty. And that's it. If we look now, you see that I had more than enough loft on it, but you if I... go 52, could you? So if we stand there, that's pretty much how it's going to launch, which is we can see that's more than easily getting over, OK? Yeah. That's how it's going to come off off that loft. If that's we, interesting. I've never seen anyone do that. If we now look, this is your 52. Even if uh, hopefully on the camera, you can see that's clearly going to still get over the bunker. Yep. People's fear is they go to 52 and it's never going to get over. I think here... We could even go maybe to the 48, but it might run out too far. So here, I want you to go switch 52. Yeah. Shorter that, that, swing. I think that'll surprise a lot of people, like you actually seeing that. Yeah, because people think, well, oh, I've got to get over. Go 60, isn't it? Got to get over, get the 60 so back out. flag. Same flag. So here, you're probably not going to go much past parallel with the club. That's checked up, and they're within a foot of each other at the exact same distance. Great shot. Run out. That one's ran out to, again, four feet. So, yeah, we just, uh, over that bunker, as you just see, normally I would use a 60 or 56 or whatever, so that was quite interesting to see. A 52 was more than enough, and this is where them four chips have just landed. So there is, from that bunker over there, so that's Ooh. where a chip from, balls have landed, one, two, three, 
Four. Right, we're going to play a downhill lie now, and we're going to go short-sided. Oof. Okay, so now downhill lie. Again, tricky, tricky situation. Not the one you like to be in. Everyone gets a bit scared of this. That's it. So here, what do you? What would oh, you do? Oh God! I'm just, I'm frightened to even tell you what I'd do. I don't. <laughs> Again, it would be a 56. Yeah. Everything's just a 56, and it would just be a little square open. Just bump <sighs> it down there. It would kind of just, yeah. I mean, I'll just. Again, just be a bit scared of it, probably. It's a little bit open. And I'd, I'd probably just lean a bit with the hill. I don't even know what I'd do. <laughs> it would just be a little like a. And just hope for the best. Get with the slope. So, what I see a lot of things people do is the lower body goes with the slope, yeah. very much similar to you, and then the upper body stays back. And then from there, we start to catch the ground a long way before and it's more of a drop kick so on this lie other than the others we've not really changed the stance made it wider here i just go a little bit wider okay point your foot down the slope so you can lean a little bit more with it and then from here we can have as much loft as you want we can keep it open and we're going to start to finish down with the slope keeping the loft on there okay so much more angled with the slope that's a good little tip with your foot pointing down isn't it yeah it allows you there if my foot's open i Front can foot lean again yeah yeah but that like better that even more than that point it nearly at the flag there you go and then lean right into that good and then you're just going to let this release and work down the slope <laughs> bit too much guys too much we see how much loft that's come out with even off a down slope where people get worried it's going to come out very low, we can still get it nice and high okay. off this slope. Good. Yeah. So firm bounce. But you even want to land it even more loft. You can get even more loft on there. So you could go 60. Again, you've you got could, to think yeah. this slope is taking it off, even if you open it up. And you're not, hopefully, you're not going to like the other slides. Hopefully, you're not going to get many of them. But when you do, you need to be confident with them, don't you? Yeah, we can get with the slope more, so into that left foot, good. Good. Line's a bit softer. So a shorter swing? Shorter swing, shorter both ways, back and through. Nice. Oh, what a horrible bounce. A horrendous <laughs> bounce. That killed us off. Right, so let's now say we're going for the one on the left, okay? And we're going to say this is a bunker. It's not, obviously, but we, so we need to land it on the green, but then we also need to get it to run out. So this is for me where you would go back to your 56. Similar to the first, a couple of the first ones you hit, with exactly the same setup with the slope, left foot turned out, club face still open, so we've got some landing angle onto the green. And then about like a half swing, parallel? I'd say similar to the last one, yeah, parallel probably, what you've just done with the 60. So left foot turned out even more. Good. Too big. Oh, in the bunker. Oh, right there. That's the one we don't want to see yeah. in the bunker. Good. That came out nice, didn't it? So it came out nice, landed soft and trickled out, which is where we, what we, well, we take that all day long. Nice. So even there from a terrible lie, we put plenty of loft on it there and you'd be happy to get on and have a chance at a pull. So back to normal lies, let's see now if that's bedded in. We're going to play two of the three different flags. Right. We're going to go 56 to the first and then I'm going to go 52 to the others. So landed bang on, rolled out what, seven, eight feet? Probably two too like, not too good I'm gonna, I'm gonna get cocky but it went it landed too too big a swing yeah too big a swing exactly so you can just bring that down slightly now great shot take that one. right let's go to the right flag now so let's go let's change club well let's hit one with both and let's see which you find easier so okay. let's go 56 first So, pretty good swing, just needed it again on that one slightly more. Plenty of spin on that one. 
Yeah, that stopped dead, didn't it? Yeah, one bounce, check. Right, let's go back flag now. Nearly. Yeah, just needed a little bit more. Yeah. I felt like the swinging that was better though and the contact and stuff. Yeah, a lot much, a lot more, well, better tempo there. Just letting the club fall down onto the ball. Nice. Spin. Pretty good. Right, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, like I say, my lesson is your lesson. Thank you, Chris. No problem. And yeah, I think the main things for me and for you guys is definitely try the one foot, the left handed, it's hard. It's very hard, yeah. Don't beat yourself up if you can't do the <laughs> yes. one-handed left hand, one foot left hand thing. But definitely try left foot forward, right hand. Because that was that was the game changer, I think. I really got used to it was the different flights and stuff of like that. Yeah, allowing then, the club to release and it just got you a lot higher, didn't it? And the biggest thing for me today is learning that different lies, it actually doesn't matter. Just play the same shot. Different shots, but like don't get scared of the lie. Yeah. Like that would petrify me. Yeah. If I stood I stood on the ball and still managed to get it out. And again, the biggest thing for me taking four out of the day is the follow through. Yeah. I've always just chipped and gone like up here and sometimes there and like yeah. I was doing full follow throughs. Yeah, for the shot just as in today now, your chipping is is there. Yeah. I stopped pretty much like slam the brakes on and so they hit the Pretty ball. much, yeah. Slam the brakes on, let the club head just do the work. And the difference is mental. And it'll finish out in front of you. So that's my short game. We'll do some more stuff. We're going to do some more bigger pitch and stuff, like 50 yards, 100 yards um, on the course um, yeah. soon. Like I said, we're going to be doing loads of this over winter. I really want to work on my short game winter. Chris is the man for the job. But yeah, thank you. No problem. See you all soon.